Good evening, everyone. Are police going too far? That's what some are asking a day before tomorrow's scheduled neo-Nazi rally. And the hate group will not be alone. Another counter rally will be at the same place at the same time. Brenda Lee Gonzalez is live at the Jackson County Courthouse where it's all going down tomorrow. And Brenda, police are definitely treating this rally differently from most. Yeah, police are restricting. Uh, they're banning items that you normally be able to take to any other rally. This is a list of some of those items. You can't take a backpack. You're not going to be able to bring a cooler, even a baby carriage. And these restrictions are what has one group questioning whether or not this is necessary or even legal. This is what happened in Columbia, Missouri in 2007. It's what Kansas City police want to avoid tomorrow. My daughter. Jessica Piedra is one of hundreds who will be at the Jackson County Courthouse rallying against a few dozen neo-Nazis. We intend to chant things like, you know, immigration reform now and some of our, our things. I don't know that we'll engage them um, specifically. Her group made a hundred of these signs, but they won't be holding them up, at least not with sticks. Poles and sticks are among the more than 15 items police banned. From this point forward, no backpacks, no poles, not even water bottles are allowed. Yes, even water. Um, I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Police say it's because of all the attention the rally has gotten and the amount of opposition. But Doug Bonney from the ACLU thinks the rules do more harm than good. To impose prior restraints on people's speech that interfere with that speech is unconstitutional and just wrong. It's not about either group's ideology. These rules are are trenching on the free speech rights of the Nazis and of the counter protesters. Both groups say they want a peaceful rally, but Piedra admits some of the restrictions are a bit extreme. A little bit so. I think more extreme is no one's going to be allowed to bring in water bottles. In an open public forum like a public sidewalk, I have never heard of this kind of restriction. It, it's way beyond the pale, I think. The ACLU says that they are not taking this into court because none of the groups have asked them to represent them. But he says he's speaking out on this because he's concerned about what this will mean for other rallies in the future. Reporting live in Kansas City, Brenda Lee Gonzalez, 41 Action News.